so like film and comedy, you have to, you know, sometimes comedy is the first take. And when you try to do it over and over, it's just not as funny. Right. And that's the thing that I didn't quite grasp was we did, we have a two camera shoot. So you at least have from two different angles at the same time, but they might want to get seven to ten different angles of the same part. And so you will say that over and over and over and over and over to get not the, the audio, but just get the angle. So we had a sizzle or trailer, whatever you want to call it, that came out and it was 45 seconds long. And we sat down in here and watched it and there were 42 different scenes in 45 seconds. And so everything's kind of new and fun. We just did a huge bar up in Okaboji in a guy's house, which was cool. So it was an old bar that you sort of retrofitted and did different things to, like took old things. So the bar it itself stayed as it was, but yeah. we built the, the wine cellar and some of the interesting pieces that we got to put together into other parts of the basement build. Do you think people appreciate old stuff more. I mean, you were talking, we were talking about the wave a little bit yesterday that you don't know if you were riding it or if you're the right. wave and all those yeah. things. I do. I mean, do you really feel that a lot that people are coming and go, oh, and yes. do they have ideas? Can you make their ideas come to life? Or do they usually look for you to you for ideas? Both. Yeah. People come in and honestly, they come in and say, we need you to design our table. And by the time we're done talking, they've told me what they wanted and they basically have designed it. I've just drawn it. So if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And yeah, people are looking for help and looking for different things. Um, and I always like give it the tip it upside down, and then you look at it differently. And so that's really fun to do. And I think people are looking for and always have wanted something that was one of a kind and unique. And that's typically what you're getting. I feel like when we had that little recession six, seven years ago, mm -hmm. that people became a little more cognizant of I don't want to buy stuff that is disposable. And I, I did see a lot of people that are like, you know what, as much as we kind of like Ikea, you move it once, it falls apart. I want to buy something I'm going to have for a while. And I think the other side of it is, when I first started, I had a lot of people just flocking in and they're like, I can't believe there's not been one here before because people wanted it. And I had a few people say, oh, Des Moines won't support something like that. Well, until you have it, you don't know if they're going to support it. Right. And if you do it well, you know, obviously people appreciate it. If you do it haphazard or kind of half-assed, it's ne not necessarily going to go. You... It's my sophomore year. But then Leo Ringy came in and then I didn't get to play because he started Steve, somebody from Century. Ooh. Steve King? Doesn't sound quite right. So then I played defensive end, I played tight end. So what was the thing, you were, you were MVPs the first year and then you and Joe Corbin were what the second year? Captains. Captains there. And there was Tracy somebody, Joe Campbell, Bedoin, Chuck Roschke, Kevin Rowe.